Yeah, well, I mean, of course it's, um, do I even need this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, I like that. Um, yeah, it was frustrating. I mean, we couldn't make shots. I mean, I think we, we, if we just started making shots, that would loosen up their defense a little bit. But, you know, if we missing shots, they're going to stick with what they've been doing. And, you know, we just couldn't get over that hump offensively the whole series. So it was tough for us. And, you know, it's frustrating, of course, to lose. But, you know, the sun shined this morning. So, um, you know, we can't hang our heads for too long. I mean, it's a combination of both. I mean, of course, you know, Russ was 24 points a game, seven and eight assists. You know, of course, we would love to have that this playoffs, but we we didn't. So we had to kind of, uh, you know, find some other other ways to get it going. And some nights I had it. Um, some nights my teammates did a, did a great job. You know, but we played we played hard. We moved the ball. We didn't we didn't we weren't selfish at all. Guys weren't trying to just do so much because we had a guy out. We were still trusting each other. Some nights, nice, you know, in the Houston series it fell. Some nights nice it didn't. And um, um, it, it just didn't fall for us um, this series. So, you know, but we trusted each other. Kevin, you and Russell and Serge are all still young. But, I mean, do you look at this as a lost opportunity? Because, I mean, next year you'll be 25. But what you want to achieve is it is this sort of a, a lost opportunity with with the Russell injury and going out in the round you did no it's I don't look at it, anything as a lost opportunity we had you know it's blessing to play in this league and we <clears throat> we grew up you know we of course we didn't win but you know we learned so many lessons about ourselves and you know once you look at it like that then you can you can grow from it everything is a, is a process you know you don't just you know, just you got to go through some tough times to, you know, to get where you want to get to. Everybody's been through them. All the best teams, all the great players, you know, they've been through tough times. So I wouldn't say it's a, it's a lost opportunity. You know, we learned a lot. And, um, you know, once you start to learn, you start to get better um, each and every year. And I think that's what happened with us. Well, first saw that we lost, you know. <clears throat> of course, that's the biggest motivator that, you know, having, having lost in the playoffs and just wanting to get back first off and then try to go as far as you can. Um, but we just got to take it a day at a time, you know. In the summertime, just get better as individuals and um, and, and know that, you know, it's going to be a tough road coming up this next season. So, you know, it's, it's, it's fun knowing that you get opportunity to work on your game all summer playing this game of basketball you get two or three months just to work on yourself and get better for the next season which is fun um so you know i'm looking forward to growing as a player and uh, helping my teammates as well and i'm sure they're gonna help me out after, after your most efficient year by far and one of the most efficient in history what do you do for an encore where do you get better be more efficient only way I can go is up, you know. I'm, um, just keep finding ways to get better on my, you know, of course my offensive game, different different shots, different moves, different spots on the floor where I can, you know, be better. Um, watching film and really digging in our offense and see where I can help my teammates more, get them more opportunities. Watching, you know, like I said, watching film on them. Um, getting stronger so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting better this off season like I always do is just work as hard as I can and um next season hopefully I'll be ready Jim, we talked to, we asked you a lot since Russell got hurt about the fatigue factor carrying so much of a load but you've actually been playing basketball non-stop virtually since since I don't know maybe since uh, summer of 2011 yeah. because of the Olympics and the international stuff uh, is there a chance you're just worn down just from the calendar if nothing else no nah, I mean I, I love playing basketball and I really don't think about being tired when I'm on the court you know if I think that then that's how I feel but uh last night after the game I, um I don't usually drink Gatorade after the game but I drank like four or five bottles of Gatorade 
I think I, if, I think if I wouldn't have did that, I'd have, I'd have passed out. <laughs> but um, I just tried to give them all, and uh, I never really thought about fatigue at all. Um, I was just going out there and just try to play as hard as I can, and um, you know, I had to live with the results, which were tough. But like I said, you know, I'm, I'm embracing the challenge. I'm embracing the hard times, and uh, looking forward to the future. No, nothing is ever a wasted year for me as basketball. I've grown so much as a, a man, you know, since the season. Since the beginning of the season, I've grown so much as a leader. Nothing's ever wasted. You know, of course, the ultimate goal in this league is to win a championship. Um, but I'm never going to say I wasted a year. I'm blessed to even wake up and, and do something I love every day. So it's never wasted. And we take that for granted a lot, but that's something I'm not going to do. Uh, I enjoy playing this game. I enjoy playing for the city, my teammates. So every day I get to see those guys and go through some tough times and laugh and argue is never wasted. So I'm um, just, like I said, blessed to be here. And you know, I'm never going to take it for granted. Kevin, I kind of see people listening to what you just said and saying you don't have that burning desire. Like, a Kobe Bryant, you know, whoever. Like, what do you say to those people? They don't see that fire in you when you're handling yourself. <clears throat> the way you do. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna be who I'm gonna be. I mean, I can't. I'm not Kobe Bryant. I mean, not Michael Jordan. I'm not LeBron James. I'm not Magic Johnson. Not me. I'm not gonna ever compromise myself and my integrity and what I believe in for winning some basketball games and winning a championship. That's just not how I was brought up. I'm always gonna fight for you know this game. I love. I'm a. I'm a claw until. You know what happens until the you know the last buzzer sounds, and that's if after a championship, then um, of course I'll be happy. I'm not satisfied just you know being in this league and losing. You know I'm gonna work as hard as I can to um, try to get to that mountaintop, but I'm never. I mean I'm I enjoy playing the game. I enjoy being here, but I'm never going to you know come out to the media and say I wasted a year because we lost the championship. No, nah, I mean. I'm not, like I said, I don't have to be Kobe Bryant. Kevin, every team with roster of 15 guys is unique every season. What are some of your fondest memories or, or maybe takeaways from this this group this season? Well, um, I like how we all grew up. You know, we had our best season this year, winning 60 games. Um, yeah, you know, lost a core piece before the season, but everybody came together. Russell grew up as a leader. I grew up as a leader. Serge grew up into his role and got better. Perk, all the way down the line, everybody. And, um, you know, we had some ups and downs throughout the year, just like any other team. Uh, but we, we fought through that, and we was able to get the number one seed in the West. And then, um, you know, of course, Russell went down, and then we had to come together even more. And I love the way that we always stay positive no matter what. We always leaned on each other. And, you um, you know, like I said, we, we grew, and I'm looking forward to the future. You know, we can only get better from this, and we can only, um, you know, just rely on each other even more. You know, you don't win you don't win championships, you know, for me watching. You don't win playoff series games of one or two guys. Uh, it's always, always about a team late in the season, always about a team in the playoffs. So, you know, you're going to need everybody to step up, and I like the way we – we uh we grew together as a as a unit. You, uh, you look like, you say you're looking forward to the future. How bright is the future for this team long term for the franchise? Is, do, you, do you feel like it's like, sky's the limit or do you feel like you guys have some pieces to add or anything like that? The sky's the limit. I mean it's up to Sam and Troy Weaver and Mr. Bennett to make the pieces that they you know, come together for our team, you know, wherever it is, free agency, draft, whatever, you know, that's that's on them to make those decisions. But, you know, the guys that we have here, I'm 24, Serge is 24, 23, I think. Uh, Russ is 24, uh, Perk's 28. You know, so we're all, you know, we're still in our early years, uh, but we're not getting any younger. Uh, but I think that, you know, we continue to just keep growing with each other. We're building something special here. 
you know, just two two years ago, three years ago, we were the, we were the worst team in the league. And, um, you know, to be thought as as a, fra- a favorite to win the championship for the last few years is a big change and a big uh, growth period for us. So it's, we just got to keep improving. I love Kevin Martin. I love everything he stands for. I love his work ethic. Um, I love him as a teammate, but you know, free agency and what he feels, I have no control over. Um, you know, I, I, I would love just to, you know, for him to do whatever he he thinks is right for himself. You know, because I enjoy him having him as a teammate, and um, we'll see where that goes. You know, you never know what happens. Kevin, say so you guys can always get better. Is there something specifically that? Do you think this team needs to get better? Is it everything in general or something specific? Or? I mean, it's, we lost last night. I mean, so I really haven't thought about exactly, you know, um, you know what we need to improve on next year. I mean, of course, down probably give me a two or three weeks and just look at it and reflect on the season. Then we'll see. Um, but, you know, everybody's going to individually going to work as hard as they can. We have a hard working group and um, we'll get better from that. I always worked on it. I always thought I had a, a pretty good post game, but it's. It, I mean, people tell me get in the post, but it's not like I'm just gonna walk down there and sit down in the post without nobody giving me a fight, or without me getting double teamed or fronted, and the guys coming from the back. So it's easier than just walking down there, posting up and scoring. You know, it's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of um, getting positions, and so I think I've done a lot better at that. And you know, once I. Do catch it down there, being patient and making my moves and, and, and finding my teammates. I've grown at that as well. So, like I said, I always tell myself I can do more, I can be better. So I'm going to see where I can um, I can grow in that area and um, try to capitalize on it and some of the good things I did this season and look at some of the bad things I did and, and get better. Thank you, Kevin.